Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can add synonyms or alternate names to a term within the term store. Uh, let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. So here we go. I have this document library with a bunch of files and I created this metadata column called document type. And for each and every document, we can tag the, you know, the files against uh, the document types. Now this document types uh, were defined within the term store. This is not a regular uh, choice column that I created. All right, uh, this was not a regular choice column just like here, you know, that uh, I created. Uh, I, I created this column uh, using managed metadata, uh, essentially using the term store functionality. All right, this option, all right? Now, in this particular video, I'm not going to show you how to create this column. I have already done that. Uh, so here it is. Uh, I already connected my um, essentially library, if you will, to that uh, to my uh, a particular term set uh, within the term store. And however, here's what I would like to achieve. Um, I would like to provide synonyms for some of these drop-down choices. All right. So you see here, uh, the user can select from any of these document types. But you know what? There are alternate names. For example statement of work, all right? Some people call it SOW, some people call it uh, contract. Um, I want to make sure we, you know, kind of capture all of those, right? As users try to tag uh, the files. Uh, I still wanted to default to statement of work, but in case if somebody types in uh, contract or something, I, I want them uh, uh, to be advised that uh, the official terminology is statement of work. All right, so let me show you how to make this happen. So obviously, in order for us to do that, we would need to go to the Torum store. Uh, for that, we would need to go to the admin center. Remember, you need to be the admin uh, of the Torum store to make changes there. All right, so I'm already set up as the uh, admin in my environment, of course, in my uh, Torum store as well. So we navigate to SharePoint admin center under content services term store all right and here we go uh, this is where all of my metadata uh, is set up and this particular column that you saw uh, here it is it points to this particular term set document type and let's find you know the statement of work right here this is the term where i would like to provide some additional synonyms uh, for and here we go. Uh, now, what's interesting, you know, by the way, you can provide alternate names or synonyms in other languages as well. All right, so you can add additional languages and you know, you know essentially spell it out uh, what what the names are uh, for for that particular uh, for that particular term in alternate languages. But in my case, all we're trying to do is just add alternate names. Uh, all right, synonyms. So here we go. I you I highlighted uh, this entry right here, and say edit. And this is where I can provide alternate names. All right, essential synonyms for statement of work. So let's add a few. All right, here we go. Contract. That's going to be one. Click add. Let's do another one. S a W. You can have as many as you want. All right, that's more than enough for this demo. So you just click save. Here we go. So essentially, we have you know the official term, all right? That's kind of the master term, and these are the alternate names. Uh, let's see how this works in action. So let me navigate back. So uh, first of all, let's just say I want to uh, I want to tag this as a statement of work uh, checkbox, little eye panel. Now, if I navigate and to my uh, you know tags and hit on the tags right and essentially the the statement of work will still appear here all right so i can tag it as statement of work if i want to all right uh, i can also uh, i can also um you, you pretty much type it in so here we go you see i type in statement of work uh and it does find the term but remember that's why we set up synonyms right uh, so that users can type something else so I'm going to type in SW. You see, I type in SW, and what happens? It shows me the choice, right? It finds the value. It it tells me this is a synonym to this official term. So if I click, you see, it defaults to the master term. So even though I typed in the alternate name, uh, it defaults to the master term. All right. So again, 
um, if I type in contract, remember that was another synonym, synonym I provided. Here we go, we did find it. And it pretty much tells me, no, no, Greg, you know what, even though you type in contract, we get it. Uh, we call it statement of work here, all right? So it will always default to, um, you know, to essentially uh, what the master label is, all right? But if the users are used to alternate names, uh, when they type them in, it will find them in the database. Okay? Uh, so that's all I wanted to show you today. A nice little feature, uh, in my opinion, greatly improves usability. Uh, all right, especially obviously <laughs> if you are using uh, metadata tags, and especially obviously uh, if you are using uh, the term store for that. Uh, this is kind of a unique feature to term store. This is not something that's possible with a regular, you know, choice column. This is uh, again a, a, a another big reason to utilize term store uh, for all your metadata needs. All right, uh, that's all I wanted to show you today. Hopefully, you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog SharePointMaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.